I would say the main problems in the area are um, unemployment, people um, are then turning to drink, to alcohol, um, to smoking, um, they're not necessarily thinking about their own well-being um, and how to live that healthy lifestyle. It's not just about being a doctor and nurse, it's about how the hospital operates and what people we need, you know, to operate those services. So it's quite diverse really in what you can do. It's not just about healthcare, you know, we have 322 different jobs at Hull and East Yorkshire Hospitals. Somebody who, who's caring, who's, who's passionate about sort of working with people, somebody who's resilient, doesn't give up really, but somebody who wants to make a difference to somebody's life. We actually deliver community services throughout Hull and East Riding. Within those services, we care for people from basically the cradle to the grave. We've got the young volunteers who can come and, um, come and do as much or as little as they want in the organisation. Or we have a little bit more of a structured programme, which is the Young Health Champions. If we don't intervene, then we, uh, we will be heading towards a crash. Um, but the uh, sustainability plan is already starting to kick in. We've already started to get services where uh, smoking cessations are uh, taking place and um, better services for the general public. So we have health visitors and school nurses looking after children 0 to 19 services. All the way through then, from hitting 18, you become into our adult services right to the end where we have our end-of-life care services as well. Two of my young health champions are in pathology. One of them's a radio presenter who presents Hull FC Rugby. So there's, there's many, many more different jobs within health and social care. There are a whole host of new qualifications that are coming along um, that have a substantial part of work experience. There's just over 25,000 registered paramedics in the UK but the National Audit Office has found that in NHS trusts in England that there's a shortage of about 10%. We'll help you develop your skills, we'll help to find work placements for you related to your area of interest. There is a myriad of different services and different kinds of sectors within uh, healthcare. But the sort of person that we want to see applying to that course is someone who is compassionate, you need to be want to care for people in all kinds of different circumstances. Uh, you need to be quite resourceful as a paramedic because you're often working in less than ideal situations when you have limited or no support from other agencies that you might need. If you come to college on a vocational course, you will still work with employers, we'll help you build your confidence, we'll help you develop the skills. Uh, we have health and care and social care courses that do have a large part of work experience in them currently. There's so many job opportunities now for, for working in learning disabilities. So you could work in um, a learning disability assessment treatment unit, but you could be an acute liaison nurse within um, an acute hospital. You could work in primary care. You could work in a hospice for people with children. Um, you could work in a prison. You could actually teach. Um, at college or university. As I said, there are so many different job opportunities as well as working into people's homes. Is we tend to ask them what their ambition is, what would they like to do, so that we can develop a suite of things that they might be interested in in relation to modules, give them further information on the profession or, or the course to tailor make it to what their requirements are as an individual. We've got GP practitioners, we have nursing staff, but then we also have advanced clinical practitioners, physiotherapists, occupational therapists. We also need them to be quite resilient as well, because uh, at times it can be quite a stressful job, and certainly even our students on placement will experience something unusual that may have never occurred to them or that's particularly distressing. We need to have people who are able to cope with that sort of challenge. For years I'd toyed with the idea of wanting to be a paramedic but I left school with just one grade C in maths so I had to go back to college, do an access course and then I had to redo my GCSE English and I found out about Hull University doing the paramedic course and I applied for it and I was straight into it. My background is not healthcare related, I came from a supermarket. Our healthcare assistants and they can be in any form. They can be helping anything through from the rehabilitation side right through to the nursing side. 
others, you'll get to work in the community, you'll get to have experiences in the hospital and it'll give you a global feel for what health and social care work is like. You need to be quite adaptable to whatever situation you're in. Uh, you need to be adaptable to the kind of people you talk to as well. Uh, there's a, a big gap between some people you might encounter who are at a side of society you may have never even considered before, who are homeless, drug abusers, alcoholic, any sort of any other sort of long-term condition like that, which you may not have encountered in any other uh, phase of your life. And at the same time, you need to be able to fit in with someone who is um, perhaps very well to do at a country club, that sort of thing. And you've got to convince both of those people that you're able to talk to them on a level basis. And um, that can take a bit of skill, it can sometimes take a bit of courage as well. We have public health, and for public health services, you've got to have that enthusiasm to look at helping people to re-motivate and look at how they can change their lives. That's just a few. Believe me, there's an awful lot more. We have people who have no GCSEs, who actually come and talk to us about wanting to be a nurse. They've got the qualities. Um, we know that they're working as healthcare assistants many times, um, but they don't meet the entry criteria. So by doing the university certificate, we give them bite-sized, small modules to do, um, build up their confidence from an academic point of view, and then they're stepping on and stepping off with first and two ones. They've shown some of the resources that they can use, like NHS careers, to find out the whole range of different kind of professions that there are. And uh, we can talk to them about the medical academy that we offer at St Mary's as well. I want to be a physiotherapist, so I'm looking to go to university. Obviously they don't do the course at home, so I have to go outside. But the medical kind of like gives me an insight of what I want to do. So I get a mentor and they, they like give me information. I can message them about concerns or issues that I want to talk about and then they just update me on it and it just gives me an insight of what I'm actually going into. Well, we try to link each student up with a mentor who does the job that they want to do. So we check with students throughout their time at St Mary's on the Medical Academy what career area they're interested in, because some do change as they go through the programme. Uh, I would like to go into trauma and orthopaedics or GP. Uh, currently I'm interested um, in GP specifically. I have um, an aspiration to be a paramedic. And I'd heard about the Medical Academy at St Mary's, so I applied to go to college at St Mary's just for the Medical Academy and I got in and I'm part of the Medical Academy now. It just made me think, I don't want to be stuck in a ward, I need to be outside, I need to be able to get into an ambulance. In four weeks, my placements at the moment, I've had three scary jobs that have been really poorly people. And that's, only, that's in four weeks, the rest of my jobs have been people who need help. It's not just about the blue lights and the big van, it's going to the little old ladies all alone, holding a hand, making her a cup of tea. If we can, if someone's going to be life-threatening and will die within 10 minutes, we know exactly what we need to do. We carry the drugs, we carry the equipment to do that within the 10 minutes. But for the broader knowledge, we know how to refer and we know how to get them to the doctors, get them to the specialists that they need. This is a fantastic opportunity, as I said, with, with so many opportunities. If you unshow, talk to a learned disability nurse in your local area, talk to university, they'll be able to explain sort of what happens. But yeah, so many job opportunities there for you. What I would say is you need to like people, because if you like people, then you'll get on, because then you actually talk to people, you communicate. And the art of any good healthcare worker is the ability to be able to communicate.